sis, your girl melted. Melted. <laughs> hey y'all welcome back so today's video i'm going to be melting this 613 unit that i got from av sister af sister and i'm also going to show you how to do dark roots so we're going to do that first i'm using the willow color charm in 7nn and the developer in 20. now first you want to spray some got to be on your lace to make sure that that color does not seep through the lace and stain the lace and go in with the blow dryer i did it on medium setting this is probably about five minutes or so and i just did one part of the color and one part of the developer now with the roots you really want to take your time with this i'm going up probably about one inch And just lightly tapping that color in. Now let me give you guys the specs as you guys watch me do the color. This is a 4x4 four four closure. It is Body Wave. And it's uh, 613 as you guys can see. The density is 150. And the lace, it says Korean lace. I've never heard of that before. But once I applied it, it kind of gave me transparent lace vibe it was very thin like swiss lace but um pretty much kind of like transparent lace now i'm taking the brush for pretty much all the way through until I get up to like the edges and you all will see in a few moments that I use a mascara wand now once you go through you want to make sure that you go back through to do any spot checking and I pretty much let the roots uh, once I colored it I let it sit for about 30 minutes before I rinsed it out and here you see I'm using a mascara wand and lightly tapping that in so it wouldn't stain my lace take your time with this and here we are so although this is a pretty blonde i wanted a honey beige blonde so i'm taking the willow color charms 10 ng and that same 20 volume developer again and i took one part of the color and one part of the developer and i'm just going to paint it right on top You want to make sure as you're coloring it, you're combing it through so that color is saturated throughout the entire strand. So you want to make sure, again, that you comb that color right on through. Take your time with this as well, too. And as you can see, I'm taking very small sections. So color, comb through, color, comb through. And once I apply the color on, I let it sit for about 30 minutes as well too. And as you guys can see here, I am coloring right on top of wet hair. You can color on top of wet hair.
And again, I'm taking small sections. Sometimes I like to color on with hair as a licensed hairstylist. Sis, I gotta make it work however it's gonna work. And once I rinsed it out, this is with, um, look at that color and dimension, girl. I rinsed it out and kind of did a deep conditioner on it for about mm, maybe five minutes or so. And then I blow dried it on low heat. I don't like to blow dry blonde hair on high heat because it can start to burn the hair. It's already processed, you don't need to damage it anymore. And here it is. Look at that. Look at that. All right, now it's time to apply it. So I'm using an alcohol wipe just to get off the makeup. And then the Bold Hold Skin Protectant. Girl, you have to use this when you're going in with any kind of adhesive. It protects between your skin and the glue. And like I said earlier, it has an elastic band, which I'm glad they did that. So I'm just gonna pin the front back. And I'm going to go in with my Bold Hole Liquid Gold. If y'all haven't seen my review on it, I will try to leave either a card up here or I'll leave a link down in the description box. I'm going in on, did one layer, and I'm blow drying on warm, so like low heat. And I'm gonna tie down my elastic band, just so we can have that melt. And I let that sit for probably about maybe two or three minutes, girl. My head was hurting, okay? Going nowhere. And I like to cut off those tabs on the side first before I cut off the actual lace. And I'm just gonna use my eyebrow razor just so the lace can have more of a jagged edge to it. And I know we have that white cast, but guess what? We're gonna go in with some hairspray. We're gonna make this work, sis. Just wait. And I'm gonna go back in with my blow dryer on warm heat. And I'm going to also go on top. I had a little bit more foundation on my foundation brush. So I'm just going to just kind of apply whatever's left on the brush on top of the lace. All right, let's get into the review. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair review on this beautiful blonde unit that I purchased from AF Sister or AF Sister Wigs. So yeah, let's get into this. All right, so as you guys saw in the video, um, the hair did come 
more of a golden and then I colored it I did the roots and I colored it um, this pretty honey beige blonde color I really like this and as you guys see I pressed it out I mean this hair is so pretty. I have never ordered from Ask Sister Wigs before, so this is my first time. And I have not rocked a closure unit in a long time as well, too. So that was a plus as well, too. But let me show you guys. First of all, it came in very nice packaging. It has I took the bow down. But you get a lot of goodies in here. So I'm just going to show you guys. It came with... They give you a comb, a little hair tie, uh, let's see, a little tiara on it. And then they give you a wax stick. I'm assuming this is a wax stick. I didn't use it. Um, looks like the same one they send with Love Me Hair. But yeah, okay, yeah. So it's a wax stick that you can use to kind of lay down those flyaways, in which, as you guys saw in the video, this one. This does have a lot of flyaways, so I could have used that. And then you have, um, as you guys also saw, it came with an elastic band. So they give you this package. It looks like a wig grip, which I've never used before. I definitely will probably use this on one of my other units. And a, I guess, replacement of the elastic band. And also your wig cap. Yeah. <laughs> Your wig caps, not wood caps, your wig caps. Now, the shipping took about a little over a week. I did purchase this um, either Black Friday or Cyber Monday, and I got this for half off. So, um, this was about, I want to say maybe $140 to $150. We'll say about this unit. I love how it lays um, minimum, no tangling, really. It did shed a little bit after I washed it, but it, it's nothing unbearable. Um, it pressed out really, 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 really nice. Really nice. I cannot wait to, I may put some layers in here um, and do some curls. This is 150% density, um, which is, is fine for two me. inches. I'm 5'7", so let me stand up for you guys so you guys can see. So it comes down a little low, the blue but area. This looks good. Let me show you guys the back. I'm glad that I decided to do this color blonde because honestly, I feel like this against my skin tone, I can literally rock this unit all year round. Um, I... I love this. I cannot wait to wear it out. Now, let me give you guys, um, as you guys can see, see this. Your girl melted, melted this 613 unit. Okay. All right. So now on to, I only had one drawback, two drawbacks, two drawbacks of this. So this unit is not really big head friendly. Um, the circumference or diameter of my head is about 22 and a half to 23 and this is a pretty snug fit on my head so if you have a big head sis this may not be for you and i hate that because um the difference with like the closure units versus like the frontal units you get a little bit more room with it but yeah, um, that's my only drawback. And I mean, if it's comfortably snug, when I say if it's snug, if it's comfortably snug. And also, um, the side. So, like, if the wind blows, girl, <laughs> woo, you're going to see these black edges. But, you know, to me, um, I don't know, girl. Yeah, when the wind blow, I may have to just do like this, walking with it, but. <laughs> okay, so I give this unit a nine and a half. I feel so freaking sexy in this blonde. Like, oh, for the most part, this will definitely be one where I go out and throw this bad boy on and let it go ahead and shut it down as it's going to shut it. Damn, okay? 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you all are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you all are part of the fam, what's up, y'all? I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye, guys.